Don't anyone try and tell me this isn't a classy channel. But to be honest, the main issue with the paperclip is that eventually this bit of the end here starts catching in the pusher and it gets chewed up. I might have to think about using some better materials. Use something a little bit sturdier to make a makeshift clip. It even says Red Reaper on it. It's perfect. I'm going to try taking this idea a little bit further. I'm going to... Some of you guys might be able to see where this is leading. So we've now got a kind of a funnel sort of thing going on. Now, I guess, could I theoretically cut a little bit of a jammed or access viewing thing there without setting anything up? I'm going to try this again before I do any more chopping downstairs. Now this whole gravity feed idea often doesn't work because these end up kind of catching each other so it does need a little bit of shaking. I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. Now what's interesting there is that all of the darts beneath this pile here have now fired and like I said might happen. These guys have kind of caught and so, you know, let's give, give them a bit of a shake. I'm just kind of hoping now these darts won't fall weirdly. And that's the difficulty. If we take these top two off, you can see that there's actually a dart that's fallen there backwards and that dart fired out backwards. That wasn't a problem. I'm just not sure how to resolve the issue of how these darts fall. But in principle, this is actually working out pretty well. I wonder how many darts we can fit in. Two, three, 14. I guess, there, I guess there really isn't a limit with regards to the number of darts you can fit into this. Um, the only issue is closing up the back and then having the darts jam and then when you shake them, falling in weirdly. So that's the next thing we're gonna have to consider. But actually though, we're kind of getting there. We're not too far off. And that's all the darts fired out, which is the first time that's happened. So far, so good. I'm kind of impressed with this. I think this might have been the purple dart that was giving us issues before actually, and you can kind of see that that maybe wasn't the blaster or the feeding mechanism's fault. Right, so you can see how we're loaded up. I'm not sure how many darts we have here, but there's quite a few. And you can see we've actually got the same issue again. All the darts have fed through just fine. They're just a bit of a bottleneck there. Let's see what happens when we, uh, when we take one out. So we've taken a dart out and the darts have fallen weirdly. And after falling weirdly, as you can see, it's really, really difficult to get the darts down into where they need to be. Right, so in principle, I like this. It's just the issue with the gravity feeding. But what is cool about this is that now we have a genuinely top loadable blaster. Eat your heart out, Infinite. Hasbro, wish they thought of that. This is now a blaster which darts can literally be thrown into. I'm making sure they're going forwards, of course. I'm, I'm pretty much literally, though, just chucking the darts in. And for the most part, they're firing out. Another thing which needs resolving with this design, if you can even call it that, is the fact that the jam door function no longer works. So I'm literally just gonna cut. One of my big concerns was darts getting caught on this lip in here. And so I don't wanna move this too far, for so far forwards that darts will then get caught on this piece of cardboard instead. How does that look? Nah, it should be enough space to get wandering darts out. Okay, so the gravity fed hopper idea is definitely not as reliable as the spring idea, but now I'm just kind of wondering if it's not because of the materials I'm using, cutting the end of one of these mags. I don't have to do serious videos like this, guys, so enjoy it. Just take all that spring mechanism out. Now I should be able to just cut across here, take off that top bit, and then, and then we should have a gravity fed mag. It's hacksaw time! Okay, so technically this is a coping saw. I get that. Plastic's very brittle. Check out that crack there. And off comes that bit. Just gonna try and blow some of the rubbish out of it. There we go. So I may well still come back to this later, but for now, this jam door is really annoying because whenever I lift it up to show you something, 
just do that and it comes back down again. A little bit curious to see what exactly gravity is going to do to this when we put these in. Whether gravity is going to sort of flip these darts around. Okay, you see, as soon as I drop that dart, tip down. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try dropping the first couple of darts down the front and then flipping them. There we go, look at that, there we go, we're getting there. But just now, we also encountered this lip problem as well, so I'm almost tempted to put a little strip of card across the top of the mag there, so that doesn't happen, but for now we're just gonna feed more darts in and see how we go. Now the mag idea is intuitively a good one, but it is mattering now a lot more how I'm dropping the darts for these first few. Yeah, even there, they're tending to slide. Loading this now literally involves kind of dropping it like that. And so you're dropping it tip first with the tip at the front of the mag. To be honest, we don't even know if this is gonna work yet, so I'm just gonna try this. Well, the whole gravity feed thing does mean that we don't get a dart every rev, but maybe with the regular running around that happens in a game of HPZ, that wouldn't be an issue. Although you kind of think that the amount that you were shaking this about anyway would make a difference. I'm actually stunned that we've turned this into a genuinely top-loadable blaster, even though it does have its reliability issues. I've actually realised that rather than dropping the dart tip first at the front and hoping they'll fall backwards, you can actually drop them back first at the back and then they'll fall forwards much more easily. You, you know, so I'm giving it a little shake forward in between each load. That's just kind of what you've got to do. And they're actually falling forwards incredibly consistently now. You'd have to ask yourself, in a game of HVZ, would you value being able to do this late game? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. So this 12 dart mag now has a 15 dart capacity. And there's one dart there that hasn't fired out. Plus 50% capacity, and this is now genuinely top loadable. This dart is in backwards. But it's still fired out, eventually. Honestly, after a bit of practice with this, it's actually very, very easy to top load. I believe that we have here a blaster that is genuinely something of an alternative to the Infinus. How many darts does the Infinus take again? Is it 30? My original thought was to take one of these 25s, simply saw it in half, and then have a kind of a hopper system. Maybe not sawed in half, maybe cut just here. Having experimented with this model here, I can see that as maybe presenting a bit of a problem. I think we'd have the same problem with darts getting jammed up against each other. And so this is what we're left with. The next video is gonna be me trying to use that in real life at Grim Up Nerf. What's in the stock? Hi, I'm Sir Nerf a lot. I run a local uh, Nerf event, monthly Nerf war. It's in New Ash Green in Kent, and that's near Brands Hatch. Near Brands Hatch? Yes. Do you race as well? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> New Ash Green Nerf Club, Facebook page and also Sir Nerf a lot. That's the Facebook page and the YouTube channel. We started the Nerf Wars on Father's Day last year and we are getting really, really popular and it's going really well. And just out of interest, why do you run the Nerf event? What's your objective? Get kids playing with their parents and uh, just interacting with each other really, and shooting each other, getting everything out of their system. Our best game would probably be uh, parents versus kids, which we always play at the end. I don't know which, uh, who has more fun, whether it's the parents or the children. What kind